had to turn on my lights. I forgot to do that. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade Weekend Edition. Good through Monday, January 8th, 2018. It's good to be with you. And I just did this video, and it was a 35 minute long video full of stuff. And my video recording disappeared into thin air. Craziest thing that's ever happened. I'm gonna be giving all this to you again, but in a faster motion <laughs> because I have it, um, I did it once, right? So there it is. Let's get after it. The markets on Friday did extremely well with NASDAQ doing the best up 1%. Keep your eye on the small caps, Russell's 2000, because it's down. Not down, but lagging the rest of the major indices. So are financials. So financials, small caps lagging, that is a warning to me. That can be problematic. Crude oil down after a huge run it's had. Gold slightly down, silver the same. VIX break even, but I'll tell you the VIX right now at two or 9.2, it's at nine, it's been dropping. Huge, huge, I mean the Dow was up 200 points Friday plus and the VIX come crashing down. We're at nine, that's low, 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 low. Bitcoin had a big pop. I think it was up like 25% on Friday, just a huge, huge rally. We're under 17,000 right now. And uh, GBTC is up at this moment at 23.37. Okay, starting off with the spider. What we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna go over all major indices. We're gonna look at the Dow 30. We're gonna look at also all the tech stocks. And we added one, we did add Netflix to the tech stocks for you guys. It was by uh, a request that was added. All right, we're gonna be getting into this. We're gonna be looking at the daily charts, but weekly, and I'm also gonna be doing the monthly. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna be opening this up. You're gonna see all three charts. This bottom one is the daily. So if I open up the daily, this is what you normally see. This is the spider and it's going up, it's looking nice and bullish. If I shrink it, it goes down here. You'll notice that there's two new charts. This chart is my weekly chart, you can see that with the W. And this is my monthly chart, you can see that with the M. Do not pay too much attention to the monthly chart because we're only the first week into the month and we have five weeks here. So we we're way early in the month this is still dynamic, it's still moving around, okay? Now, you're also gonna see buy and sells. These buy and sell triangles that I have, or arrows rather, are there for the public, for you guys to see. And the reason I do that is for one purpose. I have one reason why I give buying calls. It's not to give recommendations. I am not a financial advisor. Even though I've been trading 20 years in the live markets in this February, so next month it'll be 20 years I've been trading live, utilizing technical analysis and charts. And I've owned my own business 20 years, been teaching 14 years. Even though of all that, I'm not a financial advisor. I am an educator. That said, we teach people how to do this. but. I want to tell you that I trade in the live markets a significant amount of money on a day-to-day -day basis. We teach people. That's where you go to do that. Now, with that said, I just want proofs in the pudding. Either my calls are, are right or they're wrong. And I think I'm the only person in the world that does calls and leaves them up there permanently for all to see forever. Good and bad, okay? Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Let's get after it. Here's the deal. Spiders going up. Huge run. The economy is on fire, on fire, on fire. GDP is increasing. Jobless claims are going down. Everyone has a job. If you don't have a job, you're not looking hard enough. It's out there. Go out and find one. It is a booming market, and the, and, and the markets are hitting all-time record highs. Okay, Spider is just on fire, going higher, higher, higher on decent volume. If you look here at the weekly chart, up, 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 and up. Here, what's interesting on the monthly chart is it t technically it has broken resistance, but it could be short-lived. That could come right back down. This could be an upper shadow, meaning this. At one point, this was a big white candlestick breaking resistance, but it came back down. That could happen by the end of January. 
So by the end of January, if January is a pivotal month here, we need to find out, can we remain bullish throughout January? January. If so, that's going to be very good. But the odds are probably against it, just looking at the monthly chart on the S&P. Diamonds. Go to the diamonds. Here, look at the chart. We busted resistance. Boom! Looking really, really good. I had a sell on the Dow. Now I had to make it a buy now that it broke resistance. If you look here at the weekly, it's going up, up, up. It's going very, very well. You look here at the day or the monthly, up, 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 looking very, very well. Go here to the NASDAQ. Let's go to the daily chart first. NASDAQ, let's do that again. Up, 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 called a buyback here. And you can see the dates. When I hover over the arrows, you'll see the date highlight underneath. And, um, and that will t show you the dates of the buying calls that I made. And then you can go back to the videos and see them for yourself. But here's the deal. Got a buy on here. Boom! To the upside, the weekly chart. Weekly chart. Open this one up a little bit. Is up, 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 and here's the problem with the weekly. Keep your eye on this. This is at resistance. I have a buy on it, but we're at resistance. This is a problem. We have to be watching that. That could that could cause a lot, a lot of issues. The monthly chart is going higher, all as well. Okay, small caps, Russell's a little laggy. Okay, and let me show you why. Here's the daily chart. It's a big rising wedge. With that rising wedge, we hit resistance, and Friday we stalled at resistance. We didn't plow through like a lot of the other stocks did or indices did. This one stalled, relatively weaker compared to everybody else. This is an issue. This is a problem. We could have a big red series of candlesticks going down here, just crash, 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 and come down. I mean, it could be a bloody week that we're in for and if it cracks this lower trend line, woe to the markets, woe, woe, woe to the markets if it breaks that lower trend line. So let's be watching that. Keep your eyes peeled, my friend. If you look here at the weekly on this, we're going up, 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 but it's just, it's not like taking off. It's, it's having a hard time reaching these new highs on the weekly chart. The monthly chart on the wrestles have a buy on it when it broke it. And I'm just kind of stalling around right here. Let's see the next one. Financials. Financials. Keep an eye on this one, guys. A little laggy compared to everybody else. Sideways, sideways, sideways. I did have to, on uh, that would be Thursday, call it a buy. Popped up. It, it's, it, but it's just, it's not like moving like this. It's kind of moving sideways. Keep that in mind. Financials weekly. If we go to the weekly, we're up, up, up. High base pop. This could go higher. So this Weekly has a decent chance of going higher. The monthly is just going higher. Okay, U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is in trouble, guys. We had this symmetrical triangle. From the triangle, we had a sell, and then a buy, and then an immediate sell when it broke on this day. When it broke that trend line, then it just fell out of bed. Now it's building what's called a low base or a bearish pennant. This could get quite a lot more bearish. A lot of people are saying, and the reason we have this head and shoulders trend reversal pattern heading to the downside has a lot to do with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies putting pressure on the U.S. dollar. And it is crazy. SEC is coming against a bunch of companies out there in the crypto world that are um, operating in the U.S. And they're putting the screws to them. And I can't help but to think is because of the fear that they're having because what's, what it's doing to the U.S. dollar. Oh, if you look here at the weekly chart, look at this, US dollar on the weekly chart. I had a sell on it already, but it went down here and broke an area of support. It broke support. It's bearish. If you look here at the monthly, last month I called it a sell. We're already in the red. I think this thing could get down, you know, it could really get slippery and drop quite quickly. Be watching US dollar. I think it's in trouble. The crude oil. Crude oil has been on fire. Call it a buy back here on December 14th. We go higher, 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 higher. We hit our head at resistance. We're at resistance on the daily. The weekly chart a couple weeks ago called it a buy, and it's up, up, and away, looking really good. The monthly here is up, up, up. It's also going higher. Gold for you gold guys. A lot of you guys trade gold and silver. Listen, and you follow me. Thank you so much. Much respect to all you guys. I really appreciate all the followers on the gold and silver side. 
um, gold, I called it a buy. If, as you guys know, I called it a buy on December 13th, and look what it did. Boom! I mean, it just took off. Building a high base, this can go higher. The weekly chart, if you look at this, what's interesting here is we have a symmetrical triangle. Symmetrical triangle gave us a death hook, which is, um, this is a bullish death hook. Went down, pop up, and it closed above. This thing could get really, really bullish on the weekly chart. The monthly chart, on gold, have a buy on it and it's going higher. So buy, 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 all three is, are buys. Let's go to silver, take a look at silver. Silver, 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 silver is also big buy back here on December 13th, up, 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 high base finding resistance. Now, if you'll notice, we have a triangle right here. The triangle has an apex where the apex is. If you draw a line, which I did coming across, will act as resistance or support, and sure enough, there's the resistance that's happening there. But the bigger resistance is the big blue line, these big, huge trend lines. The question is, if we're building a high base, that should be bullish, and if it pops, will it break resistance? If it breaks resistance on the daily, expect the weekly to can just continue to get really, really bullish. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I called it a buy on the weekly on silver. We went up, smashed our head last week, and I said, hey, be careful with this. This thing could drop on us. We're at major resistance. However, this week we plowed through, so my buy call is still intact and looking good, my friends. The monthly is hot, hanging out sideways, but it looks like it's wanting to release to the upside. VIX is the fear indicator. That's we look at the fear as an indication of what might be to come. Um, a couple few days ago, put a sell on fear and it came down, but we're we're down here. I almost put a buy on fear, but we're so low. I'm just going to stick with my man. I'm half tempted. No man, I'm gonna put a buy call on on. I'm gonna put a fear fear on the daily because I just don't. I can't see it getting much lower. It could, but too much support there. Daily has got a buy call. Um, if you look at the weekly, for the weekly, I put a sell call on it. And let's see if we can just hang out down there. The monthly um, is just sideways doing a whole lot of nothing. Bitcoin, for you guys that are interested in Bitcoins, do this before we get into our stocks. Bitcoin, a couple things. Here's the daily chart. Here are my buying calls on Bitcoin. I've just been killing it. Killing it. If you guys remember, where was that? Remember my first call, my first video? Go back and look at the video I did on August 22nd, 2017. Called it a buy and then popped up, 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 and then a sell. But I had a big, big run. Sell, buy, sell, buy. But look at the money here. Just huge runs. I did another video where I posted on December 22nd that it was a big red candlestick down. I didn't do that on the Grok side. I um, did that on some other private cryptocurrency sites, but it's floating around. It's floated. It's floating around out there. You can see the video, but it was a big red candlestick all the way down. And I and it was intraday. Did my video right there. Said, hey guys, this is a buy opportunity. And sure enough, just hours later, this thing went up, 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 up. And right now we're, you know, so I got in this thing around $11,300 Bitcoin and or added to my Bitcoin right there. And right now we're just hovering below 17,000. That's where we're at already. I did another video, which um, you can find on YouTube or wherever. I said, hey, there's a falling wedge, there's a breakout. And oh, no, I didn't put it on this. I think this is another private video that's out there in social media on the crypto sites. But I said, hey, this is a nice bull flag. It's also a falling wedge. There's the breakout. There's an opportunity and it went boom. So at the time of that video, it was under 14 and a half. And now we're at, you know, right, right around 17. So um, looking good. The weekly chart on Bitcoin, I got a buy call on it back here on on October and it continues to stay strong. It needs to stay above this dotted line that I have. And uh, yeah, this is a Fibonacci is, yeah, anyway. And, or this, look at this gold line. As long as it can stay above this gold line, that's a, that's a good thing. And if you look at the monthly chart, it looks really, really strong. GBTC is popped up sideways. Uh, the, the weekly 
still looking strong, monthly looking strong. All right, let's get into some stocks. Oh, a website for you. Uh, write this down. It's called freeonlinetradingeducation.com. Freeonlinetradingeducation.com, world's longest URL. <laughs> but um, at the top of the screen, there, there's some uh, great webinars. Go to those webinars at the top of the screen there. I think you'll find those uh, educational and helpful. They're free. Okay. And we are going to go to the Dow 30. We're going to rapid fire these guys. We're going to start off with Apple. Apple. So if you look here, we Apple had a nice run up, up, up. But look how we're just going sideways there. I know it's hard to see. You can do put this video in high screen or full screen, high definition, and see it in great detail. But if you look here, let me just go to the full screen here. Uh, we go up, up, up. This is a big flat bull flag. This thing could get bullish and plow through here. So Apple is sideways, but could pop. If you look at the weekly chart, you can see this high base is starting to run. If it can pop up there, man, we could we could get to 185 bucks pretty quickly, pretty quickly. So watch this high base. This thing could get bullish and fast. Um, AXP, American Express, a quick look at the daily, had this rising wedge, but for Thursday it popped through, Friday it continues higher, so we got the buys going on that. If you look here at the weekly chart, we're up, 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 everything is looking good, we got a buy call there. So when I look at these charts, what I'm looking at are my last calls. Is my last arrow red going up, or red going down, or green going higher? And I also look on this one, green going higher. That's my last one. This one, I go back, there's green. So I got three greens on this. So that's a buy, right? Um, if I go to Boeing, now Boeing had a great day. So if I go back, my most recent signal was a buy. Here we go up, high base, breakout, boom, to the upside, looking really, really good. And I have a, several students from Boeing, guys, your 401ks are looking really, really well right now. <laughs> anyway, check this out. So we have a buy here is our last one. Our last call here on the monthly was a buy. A little extended though, guys. Um, there in Boeing, you guys are a little extended there. So keep keep watch of that. It'd be healthy to have a nice little pullback. That would be a good thing. But you know, right now everything looks bullish. Caterpillar. Oh, and I have students at Caterpillar also. And you guys, let's see what's going on here. Daily chart, we go up, 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 high base, pull back to support, and then boom, it's very, very good. Oh, there it is. My last call was back here in August 30th, 2017. You can see that again down there uh, when I hover over it. So that looks good. The, my weekly call and my monthly call. Okay, green, 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 go, go, go. Cisco is a buy up, buy up, buy up. CVX, buy up. This is a base, this could pop guys, this could rally again. The weekly is a buy, it's going higher. Monthly buy, stalled out at resistance. This is, no it's not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stalled out at resistance there, but then it broke through. There's your big candlestick, boom, all is well. All as well. Disney. Disney is up, up, up. We're at resistance. I'm going to put a sell on Disney. Um, am I? Hold on. The markets are really, really strong. I'm going to not put a sell on Disney. I'm going to keep my, I'm going to stay with this. I'm seeing several different things here that I think Disney is fine. Um, the weekly is a buy. Uh, the monthly is a buy, but we have resistance coming up at $116. Be watching that. Dow DuPont. Wow. For you guys at Dow, look at this. Symmetrical triangle breakout. Boom. All the way up and then broke a major area of resistance. That is really quite strong for it to have done that. That's a great, great, great uh, move. Boom. On decent volume, too. The weekly chart, high base breakout. Look at that. Boom. Oh, that's really good. I love it, love it, love it. The monthly chart here, up, up, up. So buy, buy, and a buy. GE. Oh, this pay a special attention. For you guys, I don't know if I have any students from GE. 
for the mentor students, but um, GE could be at a low. Let me show you this. This is cool. Uh, let's go to the daily chart. The daily chart, down, 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 down. A few days ago, I put a buy on it on December 29th, wrapping up the year, and it's gone up, 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 up. But I think this is, I think this is the low, guys. And let me explain it to you with the weekly. The weekly, I put a buy on the weekly. Down, 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 down. There's our buy. I think that this is. I think last week was our low. I think that this is going to go higher. So you guys who do work at GE, definitely be looking to ratchet up your 401k buy-in because there's. I think there's going to be some opportunity there. That's a. That's great. Anytime you see that. The monthly, I have a sell on it, but if this thing stays like it is, that will be a buy. So a buy and then a buy and then the monthly will be buy next and this will rally up. I mean, I could see this at $25, you know, fairly soon and pretty easily. I could see it get back to 30 quickly. I mean, you could darn near double your money with GE, believe it or not. GE is such a slow moving stock, but I mean, there's opportunity here and you're hearing it. Remember I said this, mark it down and don't forget that I've, I'm, I'm the one showing you this, I'm doing it. So anyway, let's go to GS. Goldman Sachs, I'm, I've got problems with, guys. Look at this. We've got this rising wedge. We broke down, and we're still below support. This is bad, bad, bad for Goldman Sachs on the daily chart. The weekly chart, we go up, up, up. It's building a high base, but this thing could drop based off of the daily. If you look here at the monthly, we're up, 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 but it's like it's ready to drop. Guys, Goldman Sachs is not one to be in. Take profits if you have them, in my humble opinion. Not that I can give you advice, <laughs> technically speaking only. If you look at the um, Home Depot, this is a daily chart. We go higher, 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 higher. It's looking really strong right now, looking really, really strong. The weekly chart, we have a buy back here, and we go higher. And monthly, we have a buy and going higher. Um, IBM looks really strong. It popped up here on the daily chart, but we dogeed out. That's a reversal pattern. Be watching that. And look at this huge weekly. Got a buy call, high base, boom, and above all major moving averages. That is rock solid. The monthly put a buy on it a few months ago, and it's still going higher. It's looking great, IBM. INTC, which is Intel, got a buy on it. I'm, I'm staying with my buy even though I'm under pressure on this one. We're at where I put the buy in. We're back there, but I'm going to stick with that. I think we're going to be okay, but we'll have to see. the. Uh, but it's real dangerous territory. Uh, the weekly, I wanted to put a sell on it, but I'm going to hold pat right now with my buy call. I've got a buy call here. Because my monthly looks like a high base and it looks like it's going to explode higher is why I'm staying with my buy calls. Okay, Johnson & Johnson, a few days ago, put a buy call on it there. The weekly has a buy call on it. It's building a high base. This thing could pop. It needs to get over $144. The monthly, the same thing, going up, 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 up. It needs to pop. It'd be $150 and beyond if it does start to roll. JP Morgan, it's just like Goldman Sachs. I'm going to stay away from it. Even though I got a buy on it at this moment, I'm not feeling it. I feel like this thing is getting ready to drop the weekly. I just have the same feeling. It looks like it's getting ready to drop to me. Weekly and, and monthly, looks like it's slowing down in its momentum. So I'm telling you guys, I'd be looking to take profits on Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. I would. I would be taking some profits. Coca-Cola, got a buy on it as on Friday. So we're just moving sideways, sideways. But it's a high base on the monthly. This thing could pop. On the bigger time scale, we just have to be patient with it. McDonald's, I've got a sell on McDonald's. I'm staying with my sell on McDonald's. On the weekly, it's just top heavy. I'm just, I'm good with my sell on McDonald's. Monthly is looking top heavy. I'm good with my sell on McDonald's, but I'm underwater on my sell on McDonald's. I, uh, you know, it's one of the stocks that's gotten away from me. But um, I'm, I think I'll be just fine on that one. 3M, let's go first to the daily. Daily has a problem because we're at resistance. We popped up, we're at resistance. That's gonna be trouble. 
but it, I got a buy on it still. I got a buy on the weekly, but the weekly looks really good. We go up, 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 bull, pull back, pop. There's our pop. I got a buy on it already, but that looks strong to me. Like that could go and, and do some nice things. Look here at the monthly. It's going sideways. All is well. Uh, Merck, if you do that, we're going higher, higher, higher on the daily. But this is a bear pullback on the weekly. I got it down, 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 up, up, up. That looks like a short opportunity to me. Even though the monthly, last month, I put a buy on it, it is heading higher, but I think it's going to be short-lived. Microsoft, let's go there. Microsoft is, what's cool about Microsoft is we broke resistance on Friday. That's really good. Boom, to the upside. If you go over here to weekly, it's looking good. I got a buy on that somewhere, but right there. And the monthly, I'm not sure. Yep, got to buy on it right there. And, you know, all is well there. All right, Nike. Nike is goes up, 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 up. Got to buy on it right there. Kind of a base. It needs to stay above the 20-day moving average. That's the 20, that's the blue line there. The weekly, oh, kind of weak to me. Not looking too great. I got to buy on it still. Monthly, I got to buy on it. It's going up. A little top heavy. PFE, Pfizer, got to buy on it, but it's not impressing me. Not impressing me. Not impressing me on the weekly, even though I got a buy on it. And uh, we're at resistance on the monthly. Not at all impressed by that. Be careful with these huge, huge companies. BG, PG, Procter Gamble. Got a buy on it as in Thursday. I think it'll go higher. But the weekly, I got it. Oh, boy. The weekly, I got it. I got to put a sell on it. Even, I'm just going to put a sell on it. I know I got support here, but I'm going to put a sell on it. A buy on the daily, sell on the weekly. I'm still in a buy on the monthly, but we're under some pressure right now. Travelers, got a sell on it, and it's continuing down. I'm good with that. Got a sell on the weekly, too. We dropped, sell on the weekly and travelers. The monthly, I can't do it yet, but I, I think it's you know going to be a short. UNH. We're up, 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 but we're at resistance. You can see this. United Health up, up, up. We're gonna we got resistance at resistance. Resistance here and on the trend line. Bad area, bad area. At two thirty, I'd be looking to sell that. At two thirty, um, the only hope that it has is on the weekly chart. Bull pullback pop. It needs to rally through that with a vigence. If it can do that, then it. There would be no problems, no problems. But that's what it has to do. It needs to continue this high base formation on the monthly. UTX, we're up, 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 and up, up, up. Visa, we broke support on Visa. Boom, very strong, love it. Looking good on the weekly, looking good on the monthly. Verizon, I got to sell on this. Sell. A few days ago, we're under pressure. That's a problem. The weekly, I put a sell on the weekly. The monthly, it's still a buy. <clears throat> still a buy, but it's it's in trouble. Take profits. Walmart, got a buy on it last few days. Look at this. Uh, it's just a, it's not, it's not great. Looking a little top heavy to me, guys. Monthly, looking like it's slowing down. So my buy call might be switched to a sell fairly soon. And Exxon had a buy call back here uh, middle of December, and it has just exploded to the upside, looking good. If you look here at the weekly, we closed above the 50-week moving average. Pretty strong. The monthly heading in the in the bullish direction there. We will take a look now at tech stocks. We did add Netflix and let's go to Grok stock picks. We already looked at Apple. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon got a buy on it going up on the daily. High base breakout taking place on the weekly guys on Amazon looking strong, strong, strong. Bob the same way, strong. Got a buy on it, boom. Coming up to some area of resistance. That's where we're at right now. But if we can chew through that, that would be wonderful. The monthly, everything's looking pretty good. But we got to clear. We really need to get to 200, guys. We have to get to 200. If we don't get to 200, 
that's then consider this a top <laughs> okay it's a big area we got to get there baidu is looking good up 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 weekly has a buy on it boom boom cisco we already looked at that i think um ctsh catfish got a buy on it a few days ago i put a buy on it this week and the monthly is looking strong ebay is up like three percent on friday 2.9 pretty good run you got a buy on it back here up this one I have a buy on it from back here beginning of the year and I mean it's going it's just going really really great Facebook up 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 we've got it we're clearing that support or resistance area which is good we got to just keep going up I think we could be at 200 Google pop 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 Google with an L same thing pop 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 GoPro, I got a short on or a sell on it from back here, down, 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 down. It's in trouble, big time trouble. And if you look at the weekly, got a sell on it, down, 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 down. But I think at some point it's going to find a bottom and start to rally. But GoPro is not something you should be holding. The monthly is also a sell. There's the sell on the monthly. But a bottom could be put in at any time. So be watching that. It's beat down. But Microsoft popped up, broke resistance, looking good. I think we already looked at that one. Netflix, new one that I added to this list. And we popped up, we got a buy on it. The weekly, we popped up, monthly popped up. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA up, but we're at resistance. Look at that resistance on the daily. But we popped up, but we're at that resistance. We need to get over 225. We have to do that to stay bullish, to remain bullish. Oracle got a buy on it as of Thursday, Friday. It did pop up a little bit, but that could be a sell soon. But weekly is looking good to me. Nice hammer that needs to plow through. Bullish formation on the monthly too. And price line, a few more here, guys. Price line got a buy. We're at resistance with the 200 day moving average. We did clear the 20 week moving average. We closed above it on Priceline. And this is looking good. I mean, we really need, I think we, I could see us getting to $2,000 fairly quick, quickly. If we can clear this area, we gotta clear that area. PayPal is up 2.6% on Friday. We got a buy on it a few days ago. It's looking good. The weekly up, but we're at resistance. The monthly looking really, really strong. Red Hat up, but this could get bearish quickly. The weekly, I already have a buy on it. I'm going to stay with my buy. My buy was right there. And I really like the formation we're starting to get here on the monthly. Snap, you don't want that. I got a sell on as of Thursday. And do I have a sell on the... Nope, I got a buy on the weekly but I'm gonna put a sell on the weekly now. There's my sell on the weekly. Snap monthly, got a buy, but I'm gonna stay with my buy on that. And Twitter, last but not least, got a buy on Twitter up on the daily, but it's not doing anything for us. So that buy is trash. <laughs> and I got a buy on the weekly going back in April, this last April, and it's doing fine, but it's just, trouble just trouble um, I have a buy on the monthly back here in 2016 and you know it's 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 going higher nothing to write home about and there it is um, this website go there to check out some of the things that we have that we can help you out with education and the free online trading education.com and go there look at their webinars that they have at the top of the page and those are good, very informational. There it is. So thank you. Appreciate all of you. If you like it, like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like the three screens. Put three screens yes or three screens no. If you like all three of them or if it looks too um, congested. I'd really like to hear your comments on that. Take care and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.